All right, and my uh, beautiful sidekick right here is also gonna be joining. She was not going to come, but then I said, okay, good. That way I don't have anyone telling me my limit or anything like that. And then what happened, Jeanette? Uh, you said you were gonna give me money. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> what the hell? I couldn't say no, you know, I was like, sure, we'll go. All right, but yes, she just <laughs> wanted to go so that I don't spend too much. Nope, nope, money. All right, guys, we have made it. We are in Mint Hill, North Carolina. Here's a, it's a bunch of sweets here, but theirs is right there in the middle. And there's the main man right there, Mr. Kevin. So as you can see, guys, uh, the shop here is it's small, but don't let the size of it fool you because Kevin here uh, has a little bit of everything and if he doesn't have it, he definitely will get it for you. So this guy's here is Queen City Corals. No, it, it is not affiliated with uh, Queen City Reefs. Uh, even though, I, I don't know, maybe Kevin will want to sponsor this channel one day. On this side here you will find a great variety of LPS, you can see uh, hammers, uh, frog spawns and in a minute you'll see some torches. He definitely has high quality corals. Uh, you can see the one there, which is a holy grail torch. And uh, it comes with a holy price, <laughs> that's for sure. This is the reason why my wife decided to come because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna end up walking away with this torch at the price that they have. I, I can't remember, to be honest, what price it was. Uh, but uh, I, I think Kevin watches his channel sometimes. So if you have any questions about the store uh, or anything like that, if not, I'll let him know that there's some questions and I'm sure he'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Uh, but you can see here that you know the great, great variety of, of torches and, and you know, all kinds of hammers right there. Oh my God, I almost wanted to walk away with those, but I already have a lot of uh, orange hammers. This right here is proof of, even though it may be a little small shop, but you know, it is it's very nice and it's packed with coral. You'll see some Acan, some Duncans, you'll see that chalice there. Uh, there's a little bit of everything here for everyone. And I definitely, definitely recommend for you to visit the store if you haven't already. It took me a while to post this video. I, I did actually do it quite some time back, uh, but there's a lot to catch up on. And, and so uh, I hope you, you're enjoying this. Uh, you know, here you'll see a bunch of SPS, which is again proof of how much he's able to pack in, in you know, this small area, and, and it's just it's it's incredible. You know, and, and he definitely has some quality pieces. I keep saying that, but I truly mean it. Um, so I'll leave you here to continue watching the the rest of this video. I'm just gonna walk through the tanks and you know let you enjoy what these corals look like. Uh, I did notice that that you know there's a lot of ripples here and I probably should have asked them to turn off the flow but I wasn't thinking at the moment I probably wasn't even looking at the camera while I was looking at the corals I was just walking around holding the camera while I was enjoying uh, a bit of all these corals here but you know great variety for sure
watching this video and doing this uh, voiceover, I noticed that I missed something right there. At the very top right there, just, just before it started panning down, you saw a red scully. And I know that I've been looking to fill up uh, my tank, my LPS tank with some scullies. And I can't believe I missed that one. I, I didn't see it in that and I was like, darn it. Look at this, what I believe to be a lobophilia. It is just gorgeous. I don't know why I didn't bring it home with me. <laughs> debating whether to even show this area where he has some fish because as of today he's actually moved this out and added two other tanks that he will do uh, he will actually grow out his uh, SPS and other corals as well all right guys and that concludes our trip here to Quinn City corals Again, I'll leave the link to his store and all that information below. It's a very, very nice store. Small store, but very, very nice high-end pieces. Definitely want to check them out. I walked away with a clam because I have been wanting a clam for quite some time now. Also, a red planet, which I'm going to try to remember the names uh, for when they grow out. And you know how it goes. We're always end up getting into the trading business. If I end up, <laughs> so, you know, trading them or selling them as no names, then... What are they worth, right? Uh, they they got names. Might as well might as well use them. Even though I agree with someone, they say the the whole name game is gimmicky. I guess you could say. Uh, but anyways, uh, so a red planet, the Durasa clam, and oh, what we couldn't decide. Uh, he was told there was a home record, but it looked a lot like a Walt Disney. Either way, it looked like a very beautiful uh, frag. So I'm going to see if I can grow it out and. That's about it. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it if you subscribe, if you like, if you comment below, if you have any questions about the store. See you in the next one. we couldn't uh, leave here uh, without having to check out what we're about to go eat some chilaca taco lab if you notice it says tacos de carne asada pollo y carnitas so fajita meat chicken and uh, carnitas I don't know how to describe that in English <laughs> but anyways guys we're gonna stop here and then we're gonna head home <laughs>